Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling sea. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should fan, sword, and fire crouch for employment. But pardon, gentles all, the flat, unraising spirits that hath dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or may we cram within this wood no the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt? Oh, pardon. Since a crooked figure may attest in little place a million, and let us, the ciphers to this great account on your imaginary forces work. Suppose within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies, whose high upreared in a budding fronts the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Piece out our imperfections with your thoughts. Into a thousand parts divide one man and make imaginary puissance. Think, when we talk of horses, that you see them, pricked in bare cow hoofs into the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts now that must deck our kings. Carry them here and there, jumping o'er times, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me, chorus to this history, who, prologue like, your humble patience pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge our play. <laughs>